He's going to the Queen Charge Mass Headhunter attack. Let's go! Like those! Bringing out the creativity on this one. It's like a bomb going off in the Middle East. It's a headhunter bomb. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of Eric. Today we're continuing our coverage of the Solo Master Series Tournament. With $2,500 of prize pool, the players will be rewarded for creative attacks here in addition to winning their wars and advancing in the brackets. Now, each of the players in this tournament is going to be playing multiple accounts in their wars and nobody else will be attacking except for that player. There may be additional accounts in there just to be like defensive placeholders and stuff like that, but only the players that are listed will be attacking. Today's matchup is Tryhard from MCS versus Lexnos from Space Station Gaming. So guys, Guys, you already saw something creative in the thumbnail. I already know it. So let's go dive in and see what these players were doing during this war here and how they pulled off these insane attacks. So guys, make sure that like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to use code Eric. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Lexnos kicking us off here for the first attack of the war. And he's got a P.E.K.K.A. smash. Now this one is going to be one of the most more simple attacks here. If he wants to win the money, he's going to have to get more creative with his attacks here. But if he doesn't know what to do with the base there, then he still wants to win because if he doesn't win, then he won't have an opportunity to go on to the next round of the competition and try to win it again there. So at least one of his attacks are going to have to be super creative and outdo try hard from MCS. And we'll see who can come up with a better attack here and uh I'm hoping for something good. I'm hoping for something good. But he'll work his way in with the Queen and the Warden. Trying to break these outer rings of the base here. So we can set up for the funnel to drive the P.E.K.K.A.s into the base and have access to everything he needs. He won't be entering all the way to Town Hall by the looks of it. As he has a blimp that will have to travel all the way to the core and take out that Town Hall. And hopefully get something else of value in the process. So we'll see what he can do here. He'll take out this Multi Inferno as he works his way in. And he's moving very, very quickly because he put the Warden with the Queen. And he's got the extra support from the pets there as well with the Unicorn and the Electric Owl. And notice how we did save the Warden until after the air defense went down. And that made so that he didn't lose the Electric Owl so it could continue pumping out damage. But he is taking some pretty heavy damage on the Queen so he has to Rage her up again. And he'll probably even want a Ward ability as he works his way and fights the CC. Also protecting the Blimp and the Bloons. The Bloons are actually going to do something critical here if they can get this scatter shot down because uh i mean he's getting frozen up over and over from the defensive ice golems but if he gets something to go in there and get those scatter shots down that'd be huge but he does have the wall open so he doesn't necessarily have to go in the compartment he is able to get the scatter shot down and he was able to get the town hall no no like those get the, the king they, oh everything's going inside oh no no the healers oh no wait the healers turn back the healers turn back they don't go into the poison. Everything else surges out the other side of the poison. And geez, a heart attack right there as he tries to work his way through. But now the queen is going to have to solo the rest of the base. The eagle artillery is standing still and shooting down on this queen, adding so much extra damage onto her. He'll pop the RC ability, throw in his last rage, and he only has the freezes to protect himself as he finishes it off. He's going to have to keep this RC alive. And that's going to be one of the major factors of whether this is ultimately able to go through or not. He's got... A little bit of cleanup working behind there. Some wizards trying to get through the walls out there. And the Queen and the, the RC are still working strongly. But the Eagle Artillery continues to fire down. He's going to want to freeze it before he can get too many shots off here. The Queen still alive and moving. She can reach all the remaining defenses. She has two freezes. She can still pull this off. Lexnos might make this through as long as he doesn't time fail. But I'm really worried about the clock here. He's got two freezes. I don't think he needs them. This, he should have saved the RC, I feel like. I should have, should have saved the RC. He sends in a balloon up from the top side. The queen will attack the wall. The balloon is, will use... He'll use... Ah! <laughs> the black mine! He's not able to get the last defense down. It's a black mine. Hits the battle builder. He'll start to top off his structure. And he'll get out of here to 93%. What a roller coaster of an attack right there to start us off here for this round of the Solo Master Series here. Lexnos versus Tryhard. Let's go. Tryhard live on Onizuka. Now he'll be playing out of Onizuka and Tryhard. Or notice that there are only 
those two of his accounts in the war here. The other ones are his teammates, but they will not be participating. Onizuka and Tryhard, which are both of his accounts, will be doing both of the attacks here. And he'll have four total. So it'll be effectively a four versus four with the extra players just as proxies for defense. Just because uh, having four Town Hall 14 accounts is very, very rare. A lot of these pro players do have two, though. And some of them have three. And that's why we see some of these uh, Soul Master series have uh, two accounts in. And some of them have three in to do 5v5. So we'll see if Onizuka, I mean Tryhard, is able to get in here and take down Lexnos. As he's got 22 Super Barbarians and a Quad Quake. Basically, his whole army is Super Barbarians and this Queen Charge. So, they're going to have to do some serious work here. He said in the King, not to the Town Hall, but to the Eagle Artillery. The Queen under heavy fire here. She's in multiple ground expos fighting off the King. But luckily, the King is distracting the Eagle Artillery strikes. He's even sending the Warden with the King and the Royal Champion. We'll see what he does here with the Super Barbarians. There are a couple of them sprinkling down on the edge of the base. They're working with some Wizards on the outside. Might need to uh, add additional ones over there to reinforce them. But the Quad Quake in the middle gives the Queen access all the way to the Town Hall. Also opens up access for the Royal Champion and the King to continue through with the Warden in tow. They are able to get the protection that he needs for the Wizards on the outside. But they are stepping into the Archer Tower over on the left side. And now he's going to push the Town Hall. The King has crossed all the way through. The Single Inferno is distracted. He's got a Siege Barracks on the outside over on the right. As the Super Barbarians start to work their way in. He doesn't get the Town Hall down with the King. The Queen's going to have to finish it. She's out of spell support here. But she's still... Still has her ability. The single photo is staying off of her though. The healer's under heavy, heavy fire there. They're within a solo red bomb of going down there but the warden has survived the warden has now stolen the healers the yetis are going to step over and get the single inferno we'll see where this queen wants to go she goes north on the base there could not have asked for better luck than that the yeti's going to have to take out the single inferno over there so the queen can work way back to it if they get the yetis to go take out that yes <laughs> let's go he's got it the queen charge Mass Super Barbarian Attack and Tryhard is going to pull through the triple here. He's going to need the Warden to turn over there and get the last building down, but he's got plenty of time to do it. And he's got the triple on the board. Let's go. That was an awesome attack here from Tryhard. Brilliant stuff there. <laughs> I wasn't sure how he's going to deal with the Town Hall, but the Quad Quake connecting everything was able to carry it through. So just a brilliant attack there. We'll see if uh, Lexus can top it, though. Let's go. <laughs> 23 super barbarians in that one. Lexnos is live. Here we go. We've got seven invisibilities for this one. And he's got a blimp. I wonder if he's going to try that super archer drop that we saw. Stars and Klaus attempt. <laughs> if he can do it. Actually, you know what the nice part about that is he doesn't actually need to land inside of the compartment to be able to reach the town hall you know he could land all the way out on the edge there if he really wanted to or he could land in a super wizard drop into the town hall and here's the tornado trap any traps going off there <laughs> ah, that's not how he wanted it to go he lost the blimp he dragged right into a tornado trap and then they pulled him into giant bombs, got whatever was in there killed. I don't know what it was. It was probably Super Wizards based on where he landed. It could have been Super Archers. I have no idea, but one way or another, he's gonna have to find a different way to take that Town Hall out. And he's in trouble right out of the gates on this one. As uh, he's already down a triple here after time fell in the first attack, which was crazy. But I mean, so far from what we've seen, Tryhard is the superior player in this match. We'll see what he can do here as he comes in with the King and the Queen at the Town Hall, running some Teslas. And they'll try to get it in here and get this Town Hall down. I don't know if this King's going to go in or not. The Queen... Yeah, she should go in. She should go in. I think she'll go in. I could be wrong, though. She's chasing a Lava Pup at the moment. Makes the Lava Pup invisible, so the Queen switches targets out of the Town Hall. Pops her ability... That was kind of smart right there. Get the queen onto the town hall. I guess she didn't really need to at that point because it wasn't activated, but you know, it's okay. He at least made the lava pup invisible so the queen would stop chasing it. 
He'll make the RC invisible with this additional invisible. Because he's got to find a way to use them all, right? So he can make her invisible as far as he can into the base here. Going for a invisible royal champion walk here. And see if he can get all the way in here and get the scatter shot down. Now, there's not a lot of damage here after this expo. So if he can get the arch tower down and he can get the RC with the expo down, he can work his way in here and potentially get the scatter shot down. If he can't get it down, he's at least... What was the point of that invisibility? <laughs> I don't know. But he at least was able to get it through there and the RC survives. <laughs> I was a little confused about what that invisibility was for, but that's okay. <laughs> He'll continue to push his way through. He's got to get this enemy RC down now. He's got his RC still alive and he was able to take her out. He still has to wake, make his way back to this multi-inferno in the middle of the base and he's got a lot of blues to do so. He's just out of spell support. The warden can take it out there assuming that he's able to get all the other defenses down he can solo it but that's not going to leave him any extra punch there for the enemy ward on the side but one way or another he's running low on time it took him a long time to figure out what he wanted to do there how he wanted to change his plan and one way or another whether he can make it through or not is going to remain a mystery as he comes in with a time fail and he'll stay trailing here i think he has enough honestly yeah he got the inferno down he is a time fail 90% for Lexnos. So now that Tryhard had such a super awesome attack there, if Lexnos isn't able to do better than that, then Tryhard can just go for winning the war now. He doesn't necessarily have to keep power through the creative attacks, but he might. Let's see what he does here. He only win that bonus prize once, and he's already got the super barbarian attack there, and since that one was successful, he is already likely in the voting here to take the prize there and take that extra $150, which those are what these players are after. Like, the prize for winning the whole tournament is kind of irrelevant. You just want to stay in the tournament and continue to rack up prize money for doing creative attacks. So we'll see what you can do with this one right here. It's a Queen Charge Lalo, which is a very difficult attack here in general, but uh, we'll pull through here. You can... Keep his star advantage, and hopefully that Barbarian attack is enough to carry him through, which was brilliant. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if Lexos can one-up that. If Lexos is able to one-up it, then... I mean... He only has two chances left to one-up it. Because he failed his other attacks there, and he went with uh, meta attacks. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Lexos first needs to just win the war, though. Because <laughs> right now he's losing. But right now, alright. Enough of that. Let's uh, let's focus in here. The queen continue to work her way in. He's got the headhunters that split out there as the queen popped her ability. The headhunters lock out of the king. The king is not getting the town hall. The headhunters stalling him out there. He's gonna need a freeze or something. He pops his ability. He held on to it for as long as he possibly could, and he will get the town hall down. That's all he needs out of the king here. That is all that that king needs to get. He'll continue to push his way in with his queen. His RC was able to go take out the compartment next to it, but ran into the enemy RC and went down. But he has a nice push going through. He just needs to get this multi-inferno down before it can target his healers. He has the stone slammer starting in to deal with exactly that. Now, he'll need to keep these scatter shots under control here on the top side of the base here as his queen did fall after she took out the core of the base though. She got the enemy queen weakened up on her way in. And he can still use his remaining two archers over onto like the workshop over here to drag these final defense or drag the healers into these final defense. He sends in the he sends in a super wall breaker and that draws it a little bit there. But we always bring at least two archers to drag the healers across the base. He drops them in over there, but he spread them out. I feel like that was a mistake here. He could have taken advantage of the healers tanking and he messed up a little bit there. That's sometimes hard to keep track of in the middle of an attack like this, but. He's doing okay still. He's doing okay. Healers would just kind of chill in the middle of the base. He lost all the blooms. It's down to the dragon and down to the warden here. The electric owl is still doing some work here. Hopefully this uh, dragon splits off to the left here. He's got some cleanup down behind working, but a lot of it's stuck on the king over there. The king is the best air defense of the game. Always causing time fails by stalling a cleanup like this. And I don't know if he's going to have enough time to work his way back over to the wizard tower unless he gets some of these buildings down up ahead fast. He's got 20 seconds to work his way back. Man, if he would have just, <laughs> just stacked the freaking... Oh, they're going north. Come on. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Cross back over. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. It's a 99% here for Tryhard. And, ah, man. Just makes you wonder. Just makes you wonder.
Two archers could make the difference there. Just stacking them. Stacking them to draw the healers over. Bummer. Lexnos is live! Here we go! He's got super witches for this one. Let's see what he can do with it. He needs to triple this. If he doesn't triple this, then it's it's all for nothing, you know? He has to triple this to get to the next phase of the competition here. And then he needs to come in with a more creative attack there that can top that super barbarian attack in the last attack of the Vor. But you think about it, they don't have time to change attacks. They're only one player here playing four different attacks all back to back to back here as they're on a schedule here at the very end of the war. They had about an hour or so before the war started to go and plan all their attacks in advance and get them all ready. But once the war started, then planning's over and it's just time to execute. So he'll push his way in here with the super witches. He's cleared out that bottom compartment with the lightning and the quake and he'll push his way into the scatter shot. He's going to sideswipe the town hall here. Or he needs the king to take it down. One way or another, he has to get this king down, or this uh, this town hall down with this king. He pops his ability, immediately hits a giant bomb, freezes the town hall to try to make up for that, and he will, in fact, get the town hall down. And he'll continue to push the super witches through the jump spell. Now, from that jump spell, they can reach pretty much everything on the base. He's not going towards the town hall. He's going towards the eagle artillery. And he's got the P.E.K.K.A. out of the Siege Barracks working in the back row there, trying to find a way through a wall to get back in action. Look at this P.E.K.K.A. Like, what? What are you doing, P.E.K.K.A.? Get... Come on. Come on, P.E.K.K.A. Get back in action here. We got a war to win here. Lexnos with the ward abilities. He moves into the core of the base. He's got the Royal Champion joining with the Yetis and the P.E.K.K.A. on the top corner of the base. And we'll see if they can get in there and get that scatter shot down. And he can survive with enough troops to work his way through this multi-inferno that he doesn't have access to. He drops in a super giant on the top corner of the base to go and provide a little bit of extra tanking here for the road champion and give her a little extra punch the queen breaks the wall she gets the help to get him to get the scatter shot down and now he's into the final push here the rc still a good health she might want to pop her ability to take some of these teslas down there we go get as many of them down as possible he'll make her invisible as she works into the multi inferno he's looking good here he can reach everything else from the outside of the base and the super just can clean up there but the road champion will in fact survive it's crushed and it will give him the star that he needs but he needs to step it up on creativity if he wants to win the money because it doesn't do like it doesn't do you any good if you don't do the creative attack and win the extra $150 because that's most of the prize of the tournament. So you got to get him in here. We'll see what he can do on his final attack. Apparently I was wrong about how they're allocating the prizes. It's actually $100 for the win, $50 for the most creative attack. So I was wrong. But I still want to see something creative here out of his last attack there and compete for that $50. Obviously, he just wants to win. <laughs> yes, I, I am wrong. The chat has told me I am wrong, and now I will go and cry myself to sleep. All right, let's go in here with the lightning from Tryhard as he sets up for a Sui Hero Lalo. But look at this. It's not just a normal Sui Hero. It's a two healer something charge, whether that ends up being a king charge, a warden charge, a queen charge. I don't know. It could be anything there, but he's going to be using two healers in this composition here as he'll start off by dropping this town hall. Yes, okay. <laughs> a little bit delayed there as the sea goblins eventually got it down. They got the CC pull and he'll continue on from here. Oh, he's in up here. He's got two healers. There we go. He's going to do a two healer queen charge here or at least just give her a little extra oomph as she moves into the base here. All right, take that hound down. You got the headhunters down. No big deal. Everything looking good. Still will want to use some Coco Loon, so even two healers will rely on him protecting the only healers that he has. And he probably won't use any rages with them, but as long as he can keep those healers protected. He almost lost one of them to the pups. It's a very, very low health. Hopefully that's the one that takes a black mind. He has a unicorn working with the queen as well. So between the two healers and the unicorn, like he could do a legit queen charge with that. But he will join it with the king. And they will push their way in here and this queen will get topped all the way back up to full health here and he may even get the healers to transfer over to the king. The warden coming down with the king and the queen and the royal champion going down with them as well. It is going to be the warden working with the other heroes. We know how strong 
that the heroes are at Town Hall 14. So anything that you can do to enhance them is very, very effective here. So a couple of healers, not a crazy amount there. And the Warden traveling with the heroes on ground. I love this. It is brilliant. And if he can pull out the triple here, he can show that you don't need to put the Warden on air to do a solid Lalo. Look how much of the base is already gone. The RC sweeping all the way over there, taking out that multi, or the scatter shot, I mean, and the King and the Queen are still surviving in the middle base. He finally loses a healer. The other one hits a red bomb, and that was the last little bit of HP that it has, but he started with the Lalo, and there's like no base left, guys. And he still has a Queen with her ability. The RC finally goes down, and the only part of the base here that the Lalo has to take down is this very, very top corner, and with one Lava Hound, that's gonna be a walk in the park here. He's got it. It's a triple. Now he just needs to clean up here. Let's look at the cleanup here. He's got cleanup in all spots here. Looking like he's pretty good on cleanup. He's got 20 seconds to go though. So not a lot of time to make it happen. But I mean, what a just a crazy, crazy attack here from Tryhard. And he's definitely showing off this war, but I think he's actually going to ultimately time fail this. Is he's not going to have enough for these collectors over here, and he will be ending on them. It won't be enough. It is a time fail. 98%. And try hard. Just a really, really cool attack there. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> but they're all tied up. And try hard has the percentage advantage. So... We'll see if Lexi gets uh, creative on the last one here. If he had something creative, then he can go for it now. We can get... He's got to uh, he's got to outdo try hard. Maybe he just doesn't even try to outdo him. He just tries to win and get the money there and get on the next round. Lixnos, the final attack of the war for him. And he's attacking with his primary account against try hard's primary account here. That's how we like to finish it, guys. <laughs> Save the accounts with the namesake for last. And let's see if we can get it done here. He's going to the Queen Charge Mass Headhunter attack. Let's go! Lexnos bringing out the creativity on this one. If he can triple this and then get a defense, he can 100% get the money for the most creative attack there with a Mass Headhunter attack. And, and he could take the win here. Let's see what he can do here. The money is on the line here. The war is on the line. His participation in the tournament is on the line with this attack right here. He's got eight hogs and 18 headhunters. 18 headhunters. I mean, I guess he could send them with the hogs and they wouldn't have any problem getting the enemy heroes down. But he'll fight out the CC before he enters into the base here. And his heroes are going to have to do work. Let's see what he's got for us. Here we go. Push it in. He's got more super wall breakers. He's gonna have to open up that first wall before he can get it to target the gold storage just further in. And he triggered the trader trap there. How convenient. Next wall will get open here and he should be able to get access to a lot of high value structures in here. Expos, scatter shots, and multi inferno all set to go down here. The queen will pick up the fires of the expo here right as the RC steps in. That'll keep the tanking of those Expos and keep it the damage off of the Road Champion, but if a little damage does go onto her, she has the Unicorn working with her. He's hold on to his RC ability, or hold on to his Queen ability, I mean, so the Expos do not transfer off of the Queen. He wants to hold on to them as long as possible. He even popped his RC ability a little bit early, as she will be engaging the enemy King soon. So right when she starts to get over to that area, the Headhunters are just going to have to unleash. He's got the RC joining with the Warden. And all three heroes are right in this area of the base. So when all three heroes are grouped up like this, you can protect the headhunters. You can then rage them up there as soon as they get a little bit further in the base there. And then get all the many heroes down and just let them unleash in the area. Attacking all of the defenses and just nuking everything out there. It's like a bomb going off in the middle east. It's a headhunter bomb. It's like a poison bomb going off. Like, it's a, they just turn the town hall around there and it's like you know what i can one up your poison bomb with my own and unleash the headhunters to sweep through the base there looks like he's got a nice push going on the left side here and he's got 34 seconds to left to clean up there the king has circled out to the outside of the base there the warden transferred over to the king the queen is still alive and lexnos is looking good here he's got some cleanup with some sneaking goblins down along the bottom of the base there he'll clean up the top corner he just needs to clear the bottom See, Goblins had to get to the walls there. The Queen is getting stalled up by ground skeletons, but she will make it through. And ladies and gentlemen, Lexnos 
has got the triple on the board here with mass headhunters. Crazy, crazy, and OP. I don't know. I don't know who is going to get the vote here, but if I had to vote, that would have been my favorite over the Super Barbarian attack. If you guys like that, let me know in the comment section down below. But let's see if Tryhard can triple now because he's going to have to triple. He has the percentage advantage. He's on. He's already got a creative attack there. Whether he goes for another one is his own choice. But Lexnos may have just swung the whole war, every part of it. But here we go. Tryhard is live, coming in against Marinal. Now, Marinal obviously is not participating in the war here. It's all Lexnos. So, Marinal is just here as a placeholder. Now, Tryhard already did his uh, creative attack there. So, he's really just going for a triple now. There's more money for a triple than there is for creative attacks. And it's all up to the viewers who ultimately decide uh, get who got the creative attack there, who was more creative with the attack, and who will win the bonus money there. So we'll see. Got minions working on the outside. And he'll drive his queen into the base here. He'll go after the scatter shot, the CC, and the queen. He's got additional wall breakers here. So if he can wall break one onto the wizard tower here, then he can let the queen out of that compartment if he angles it right, and then he can drop in another one to open up access to the next compartment. These single defenses along the edge of the base here next to open walls make it very, very difficult to navigate your heroes into the base here. And he is going to swing to the outside here, but not before getting the CC pull. He will get it out and pull it down. He's got the king on the outside. He wall breaks the king in, not the queen. The rest of the CC draws out there as the poison's wearing off. The, the super wall breaker will open up access for the queen to go in there. And that's a, just a, look, there's no enclosed compartments over on the left side here. So the wall breaker will target the wall, give him access to the multi-inferno. And he's got a minute and 40 seconds left here. And we'll find out who is going to win this round of the solo master series. But it all comes down to this. The RC going to have to break the outside there. Go pick up some of the defenses that were straggling behind there. A little bit of a mistake there. He could have dropped in a couple of blues and picked those off. But the RC will go to ability. But uh, she wastes a little bit of it onto that cannon that she was about to destroy anyways. And he will push his queen into the middle of the base here. He got the blimp to take the town hall with the yetis. And the queen does, in fact, get the multi-inferno before she loses her healers. And she is safe. She'll continue on for a little bit longer here. And she'll have her ability that can maybe move into some of these battle builders at the end of the attack here. He drops in a balloon and a couple archers at the bottom of the base there. Pick off that wizard tower that was at very, very low health. They will go into cleanup. And he'll try to push his way through this multi-inferno. But the battle builders are holding strong here. Hold oh, no! Oh, so many red bombs just went off. And all of the blues go down. Super, super effective red bombs in the area around the multi-inferno and drops the entire pack. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a fail here. He's not going to have what he needs here to get to this arch down at the bottom. The queen can potentially pick off the rest of the defenses, but at best, it'll be a time fail as his archer tower on the left-hand side will stay standing. And that means that Lexnos is moving on to the next round of the Solo Masters Cup. All right, guys, that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for uh, coming out and joining us. We had a really good time there. Crazy, crazy attacks there. Mass headhunters, mass super barbarians. Brilliant stuff there from both Tryhard and Lexnos. And Lexnos takes the win. So matches that have already resolved here. We have Stars took down Synthae in the bottom right. We have Yo-Yo23 from Alter Attacks took down Klaus. We have Diff took out Eve Maxi. We got Pevu, who took down a pro player there, <laughs> took down Uryum, and then matches yet to be played that will play all throughout the rest of the week here is going to be Nick versus Bernal, Gaku versus Marinal, and then Itsu versus Rigo Taurus. And those will determine our brackets here as we go into the next round of the tournament here and continue through our brackets. So guys, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to use code Eric, and we'll see you in the next one.